today I would just like to show you something. Uh, it is a book, an actual physical book, and it was written by Patrick Lockerbie, and it is the Chinese Diesel Air Heater Installation Operation and Service Guide. Basically, this is the Bible for your diesel heater. It's, it's very well written, I had, I had fun, well, fun is probably strange that sounds, but I enjoyed reading it, but that's me because I enjoy reading this kind of thing. And it covers, as it says, installation, operation and servicing of your diesel heaters, whether it be all-in-ones like this or your typical standalone. I don't have any lying about on the floors now. Um, air diesel heaters, not none of the water ones. Hey, I never, never know, Patrick might write another book covering the water ones eventually, but for the time being, it is the water and air heater, sorry. And it literally does cover everything. It covers installation, carbon monoxide, tuning, uh, pipe works. It goes on about the, uh, there's only two kinds of heater basically. Well, as you know, this book covers the weird third H gallery, slightly larger size heater as well, which is good because that's probably the only one we're going to get that size. Goes on about power supplies and it's, it's, well, it's well worth having, because let's face it, once the rise of the machines happens and AI takes over and the internet turns off, we're, we're, we're going to need books, we're going to need knowledge passed from person to person, and what better way of doing it than in written format in a nice book? And it's, it's illustrated, that's what I'm looking for, it's illustrated with colour pictures as well, and it covers a lot of the ECUs and controllers but being obviously it's a book, you can't update it as it's a physical item, it can't be updated. When new controllers are released, they'll be weird and wonderful, but for the ma main part, this covers all of the major controllers, all of the bits, all of the insides, everything problem solving, you know, what to do if your heater doesn't start or if it's running black smoke or white smoke. Or It is very well written and there is a lot of information in here and I thoroughly recommend it for anyone who's possibly going absolutely off-grid and will have no internet or anything like that, take this with you and should anything happen, basically it should be in this. If it's not in this, it's probably a catastrophic failure and won't be uh, repairable by uh, basic simple hand tools. But everything else should be covered. You know what would be nice though is if there was a way of having this book published in plastic. I know it sounds strange, but like I've already, I've only been touching it for five minutes out in the workshop, I was reading it inside, and I've already got dirty fingerprints over it. If this could be made of plastic pages that were perhaps untearable or undestroyable, so it's, so, so it basically could survive the apocalypse when it comes. But yeah, it is a good read. It is handy to have, and I am very happy to show it off to you and recommend it for such times as the internet no, no longer works uh, YouTube is offline and nothing works we can still have books like these specifically this one that will help us uh, to survive hopefully so yeah I'm just gonna call this the uh, diesel heater Bible and hell I might start referring to the diesel heater Bible uh, in videos like if I tell you to go to page 62 or whatever like that, then we'll know which book we're talking about. It'll be this one. Because as, as, as far as I'm aware, nobody else has written one. Or at least nobody else has contacted me to say they've written one. But yeah, oh that's it. It's in English, did I mean? That should be fairly obvious that it's in English. I don't know if you can get it in other languages. That might be something Patrick could look into, because it's uh, an Amazon... I don't know, is it a print-on-demand book? I think it might be a print-on-demand. but. I don't know why it couldn't be translated to other languages for the rest of the world. That could be a thing. But yes, I will leave links to this uh, um, on the description, and that's probably about it I can say, because it's you can have to order it. It's a real book. You're going to have to buy the physical book itself if you wish to see it. Any comments, questions, anything like that, please leave them down below, and I will try my very best to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching.